Hey, what's up, guys? It is Delche. We are back with some more Fire Emblem Fates Lunatic Mode Conquest Classic Edition. Don't know why I said it like that, but hey. <laughs> Before we actually move on, though, I, I just kind of needed to get this off my chest. Okay, so this is not a gameplay channel. And before we go any further, I feel like it's very, very important that that is expressly stated. If I ever play any more games in this series, which I, I, I mean, I most certainly will, obviously, but it needs to be known that just because I play the game a certain way does not mean that that is the focus of this channel. It never has been and it never is going to be. I can promise you that. There are a million low turn count channels, speed run channels, this, that, you name it. And if all you care about is just gameplay and nothing else, then this is not the channel for that. This is not what I've been doing. I haven't been doing it in any other game. I'm not doing it for this one. Clearly, you know, I haven't done it for any other game, and I, I really don't plan on changing that anytime soon. I don't... It doesn't matter to me if I got better at the game. Obviously, I got better at the game, right? I've been playing these games for a while, but... The channel focus never changed. The channel focus absolutely never changed. This is just... This is just me talking to a microphone, guys. <laughs> That's all I'm doing, just making an asshole out of myself, hopefully for other people's amusement. Now, I know that, in case anybody's wondering, no, nobody was like coming at me about that but I just feel like that needs to be said now at this point I it just needs to be said honestly it does and that's not to say that I don't appreciate it when people watch this and they say you know I learned something from this or not to say that I don't appreciate people who come into the comments and ask questions I love that sort of thing but it is not the only reason that I make these videos I feel like I'm decent at the game sure but it's, it's just kind of a bonus, honestly, as far as I'm concerned. Do you guys know why I play this game the way I do? Do you really want to know the reason that I play this game the way that I do? Because it's a lot dumber than you think it is, I promise. Okay, so here's the reason I play this game the way that I do. Because, if you picture how the battles would look, in a real scenario, okay, playing the way that I play, it would look friggin' sweet. And that is the whole reason that I play the way that I do. That is it. There is no, like, special meaning behind this. I'm not trying to flex. It's not, like, some crazy... Like, no, no, no. It's just... It's that stupid. That is the whole ass reason. <laughs> and for the, for the record, I'm not talking about people who just want to break my balls. Fine, go for it, man. But remember, if you can give it, you better be able to take it. <laughs> I saw at least one comment that I am so sure was just baiting me into roasting them. <laughs> I just want to make sure that everyone's on the same page, though. It's a Let's Play channel. I would also like to apologize to the... Fire Emblem Wiki, guys. So, I, I think I ended the last part with some comment on it, and I, I, I saw one person kind of take issue with that, and then I, I... Let me be clear. I don't apologize for things if I don't feel like I actually should, first of all. But I thought about what I said, and honestly, it was just it was just ripping on the Wiki. Like, there was no other punchline to it, you know? So, I do actually apologize for that, honestly. I feel like... I feel like there's enough venom in the fire emblem community if that makes sense like there's enough there's enough of that stuff already and i don't want to contribute to that any further and i i don't think that this person is like losing sleep over this comment or anything uh in fact it wasn't even directed at me necessarily but i feel that it i feel that it probably was intended for me because because the comment that it appeared on had really like, like there was no there was no malice there the joke the joke was that iago edits the wiki with bad advice because he's an asshole that was the joke of this comment but the one that i made really there, there was no other punchline besides the fire emblem wiki and that is the last thing that i want to do that is the last thing i want to do i don't want to cause divisiveness and i feel like comments like that do a very good job of uh, demonstrating an almost elitist mentality in a lot of ways and if it's not quite there it's certainly much closer to the line than i ever want to be because it is. There was, there was no other joke there other than the Fire Emblem Wiki. And I, I... I don't know, it just... Upon reflection, it really just sounds like attacking somebody for not understanding the game in the same way. And that's, that is the last thing that I want. It really is. Because, you know, I, I really wanted this to be more of a channel where anybody of any experience or whatever can just chill like because we, we all like the same thing we're all here because video games right so in that sense i feel like i feel like what i did 
with that comment is the exact opposite of that. There's no there's no other purpose to a comment like that, unfortunately. I can't I can't find another way, and I, I didn't necessarily mean it like that, but yeah, I gotta take responsibility for what I said. So that that's what I'm trying to do right now, I guess. Especially considering I really I really pride the fact that you guys on the whole really sidestep a lot of the issues of the vocal fan base at large. Because I'm not gonna front. Some of the Fire Emblem fan base is just utterly absurd. A disproportionately large amount compared to other fan bases, and I I I guess that that might be shocking or that might somehow offend some people somehow. It really shouldn't. I, I'm speaking as somebody who has been around since the first Fire Emblem games were released in the West, and even if it is a lot better these days, a lot better these days in fact, that vocal minority is becoming so much more of a minority, thank God, but, but I don't know, I just, I, I just wanted to apologize, I guess. And to their credit, and I can't necessarily prove that I had anything to do with this, but to their credit, after after I made a remark about there not being any like realistic spoiler tags for the wiki, I did notice that now on the very front page is a sign that says, very plainly, spoilers abound, read at your own risk, or whatever it said. And again, I can't, I can't say that that was exclusively to do with me, but I don't... I, I didn't see any videos of people necessarily complaining about that aspect of it specifically, so at some point it must have been brought to their attention, and I, I I feel like it's rude of me to not acknowledge the fact that they're doing they're doing their best, honestly. Now with all that downer stuff out of the way, uh, <laughs> uh honestly everybody's all liquored up already, so we can just we can go ahead and do this. Uh, I I did have to think about this one in advance because it is a route map. We're gonna do Ophelia today, by the way. <laughs> It is going to be a route map, and honestly, the the way those work, at least for me, is it, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to take forever to figure out what the hell was going on. Uh, I want to give Dude the speed wing, though. We know that for sure. I'm sorry, Leslo, you already had one. <laughs> that was your chance. That was your chance, man. And you blew it. Now look at you with your 25 speed after a mess all. God damn this guy. God damn this guy. Why is he as slow as Leo? But we also have this heart seal that I'm now going to throw to, dude. Because I want to go Malignite Knight because <laughs> the more people it's trampled, the better, basically. The skill is super, super busted uh, for reasons that I've explained multiple times, no doubt. But in case you missed it, basically everything is not mounted in the Nora route. So <laughs> it's essentially five damage always. And yeah, his stats are going to get a little bit worse, but we can do some fun stuff with this, actually. <laughs> Now let's get it, because this map can be pretty hard. I, I don't know how long this is really going to take. It could be a few attempts. It really just depends. Now, I did figure out how I wanted to do this, like, forever ago, but I, I found a way better way. A way better way, and hopefully we can pull it off. Uh, I, I, I don't know. What I do know is this. Odin reunites with his daughter, Ophelia, while visiting a village that is well known for quality tome. Enemies suddenly attack, planning to steal a rare tome. I see, I see. Very interesting, very interesting. So, did you ever want to marry Odin, but you picked a male character? <laughs> if so, I have some great news for you, because... <laughs> well... <laughs> I, I do like the whole gag with Ophelia, though. We'll see her in a second. Ah, here we are, at the town known for its selection of great tombs. Pardon, I mean tomes. Why is Niles in this? That's very interesting. So would Niles not be in this if he died? Wait, no, no, no. You guys did explain that it's... So all of the father characters just retreat, as I understand it, because because if they didn't, then how could you have the child paralog, I guess? But I don't know if I necessarily buy that as a reason, though, because in in Fire Emblem 4, the first game to do the kids thing, they, they worked around that quite nicely, because if you lost a parent, you just didn't get the kid at all. That was your punishment. <laughs> so I don't know if it necessarily needed to be that they survive. But I, I, at the very least, I, I'm glad you guys explained that because now I have some kind of point of reference, you know what I mean? It makes some amount of sense, but... Such are the whims of fate! Tombs? Tomes? I walk in the darkness either way! But today it's books, not graves, that I've come to find. 
Books open to knowledge. Books laid on their spines. Books flapping their wings like the greatest of dragons. Climb on, they say. Ride with us to the realms of enlightenment. I do like Odin, though, because I don't have to make any jokes about this guy. The game does it for me. <laughs> oh! Ugh. Uh, what's wrong? Touch of gas? Yeah, what he said. This town, something, someone. The very air in this place threatens the even kill of my interior being. The shadows within are ascending. The darkness overtakes me. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> It did. <laughs> okay, man. But now, sinking into my well of darkness, I drown in power. Soon I can tap into the strongest of all my abilities. Eldrick Smackdown. <laughs> Wait, Eldrick Smackdown. There we go. Ugh, sorry I asked. I'm saying though. Huh, who's that? It's Girl Odin. <laughs> I, I do like this. I like this a lot. Because, okay, so have you ever met somebody who is just totally obnoxious, okay? Just somebody you could not stand for the life of you, okay? And you ever think to yourself, man, I hope they have a kid that's just like him? Because it would just be, it would be so fitting. Well, <laughs> I guess somebody on the Fates team must have felt that at some point. Because here comes Ovelia, who is literally just Odin, and it's, <laughs> it's great. Because you get to ima imagine Odin raising himself. Getting a taste of his own medicine like that. Come on, tell me that is not beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> ah, fair finger of fate pointing me here to this town. What power I sense brimming in these quaint lanes. Power. No, Ophelia, contain yourself. You mustn't give in to such a swell. <laughs> you alone hold day and night at bay. You or dusk, be strong. Ah, such power. If only I drank of it, I could use the strongest of my abilities. Hey, Odin, she speaks just like you. Kid of the dark and so on. Huh? Could it be? Ophelia? Oh, father. Hi, it's been too long. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. You can't just hi me. <laughs> Who do you think I am? We hardly know each other. Ah, <laughs> uh, baby realms. Why are you in my world? Oh, father, you know me. I'm always questing after the unknown. I've come here searching for a tome. The super ultimate tome. What? The super ultimate? Uh-oh. Yes, clearly you know of it. After all, it was listed in your own book of supreme fatal divine names. <laughs> you know, your encyclopedia of exceedingly dangerous thingamajigs. The super ultimate- I like how even she has no idea what the hell Odin is on about. <laughs> the super ultimate tome was the most forbidden book listed there. What? But daughter, please don't tell me you read from my book of lists. That was private. Yeah, I do. By the way, Dad, what's S&M? That's none of your business. Sorry, couldn't help myself. And now I create the ultimate, the super ultimate tome. I won't stop until I have that book. The darkness within me demands it. It bangs on the door of my heart. I will let it through, Father, just as soon as I have that book. Um, just one thing, Ophelia. That book. I might have made it up. Ah, oh, run for your lives! Ruffians are pillaging the town! What? Not on my watch. And that's our whole setup? Really? Oh, no, no, no. Ophelia, here to serve. Townspeople, you have nothing to fear. I consider this holy ground, and I will bring my full vengeance to bear. When all is said and done, I will have saved the super ultimate tome, too. I like how we're just proceeding as if this is a real thing. Ugh, how stupid. One girl saving this whole town all by herself? Hey, don't knock it till you've seen it, man. She is broken. Haha, -ha, I'm here, too. That pretty much sums up Odin's whole existence. <laughs> all these other guys out there kicking ass, and Odin's here, too. Ugh, who are you? And what is it called, this soldier of darkness? Odin Dark is his name. And he says that if you so much lay a finger on his daughter, Odin Dark will deliver his most deadly move. The Eldritch Smackdown. Uh, is this guy high? Oh, hey, look at when I'm recording this. Maybe he is. The chosen heroine arrives. And what is she called? This maiden of darkness? Ophelia Dusk is her name. You know, if I were these bandits, I would probably just leave, honestly, at this point. These guys are way crazier than me. <laughs> if I've got I've got this scene covered, Odin Dark, you can exit stage left. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm a way better unit than you. For Ophelia Dusk will now deliver her most deadly move. Luminary Uppercut. Two of you freaks, what is this? A shakedown? <laughs> Am I being robbed? Well, you can't scam quality thugs like me and my crew. Everyone get him! That's not even the boss, though. That's just some guy. Yeah, he's just some guy. The boss is over here. 
Unless that was supposed to be him, but he didn't look anything like this. So we have Seno, the merchant, who is... He's a little bit scary if he wasn't an archer, I suppose. Uh, lucky 7, plus 20 hit a boy. That's fine. Potent potion. Uh-oh. <laughs> now the Bolton Ray will heal him for 15. Oh, look out. And seal magic. I guess just to troll Ophelia, but that would imply that he can survive Ophelia, so... <laughs> Raven dude? Yeah, probably dude. Now, for the old setup. You out, out, out. Uh, you can stay. You're out. Silas Dwyer. Arthur. Yeah, that should be good. So, I already did all inventories and crap. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put Arthur... No, not switch. Pair these two boys up. Like so. We can do something like this. Uh, no, no, no. More like this. I think this is exactly what we want, right? I do believe so. I hope so. <laughs> it's going to go left real quick if I've done this wrong because this could be pretty tight. I think we're going to go the YOLO route. Now, if anybody's wondering why these people are here and why they are the way they are, I assure you that we will see. <laughs> but it's pretty specific, I will admit. Uh, hmm... I just, I just, I don't want to be forgetting anything here. Let me double check this. I think we are good, question mark? I, I think we're good. I, I hope so. It's going to suck if I find out halfway through the map that I forgot to do something important, but this should all work out. Uh, dude can kill everything with the Bolt Axe, believe it or not. And what she can't kill with that, she can most certainly kill with the with the Bronze Axe Forge. Uh, Odin's going to be holding on to the Lightning because he is going to pair up with Ophelia, who can destroy these Berserkers in theory. Dude is strong enough to one-shot these Master Ninja, even with a Hand Axe, which is very nice. Uh, we need to watch our shield gauges, kind of, because there's plenty of archers here as well. Now, this is a desert map, and I know you're seeing Silas thinking, Oh man, who would bring a horse to the desert? But trust me, he's gonna be good here regardless. Uh, yeah, I really can't think of too much else that I need to do, per se. Oh, uh, we do have Izana here, though, because he is important for the Rally Magic yet again. So victory, route the enemy, as I said, a route map. So this can go, this can go a few different ways because unlike C's maps, uh, route maps have a little bit more randomness to them, right? Uh, missing an attack on this is going to directly affect how long it takes you to complete the map. For example, that's just one example. Uh, there's a few other ways that the randomness comes into play. For example, enemies don't always necessarily move exactly the same way. Uh, and that could be an issue depending on how things go. I don't know, it really just depends. But because it's a route map, again, not like a seas map, the, the goal the goal essentially moves with the enemy, right? We have to defeat all of these guys, so sooner or later we're going to need to get into range. And it, it really just depends on if they want to play along or not. Now we're going to throw Ophelia into the middle of everything, and I am pretty confident that she is going to destroy each and every last one of those Berserkers. If she doesn't, it's okay. She can still take one hit uh, when all is said and done anyways. Now we do want to go into Dark Knight. I promise to spice your Ophelia. That's gonna happen, don't you worry. Hold up. Oh, we can seal magic and a bunch of sword rank. Remember that. <laughs> oh yeah, I also <laughs> I actually figured out how to make it work in 720 all the time, mostly. I didn't just forget about that. It's uh, My computer was giving me a ton of shit. For some reason though, and this is so stupid I couldn't make this up if I wanted to. For some reason, by increasing the speed cap up to 105% max speed instead of 100% speed, and now it works in 720 all the time. And I don't know why that would be the deal breaker. If anything, it would make the quality worse, you would think, but nope, 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 nope. So uh, yeah, we can roll with that, I guess. Or maybe it's like a map to map thing. I I don't know. I, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna have it be ultra inconsistent between videos and all that, you know what I mean? Uh but here we are. Maybe we could do like first person gunter cam. A great mistake. Oh, guy, he's so badass. <laughs> I don't get why people say Gunter is bad. I, I really... Well, I, I do get why people say that. It's because his growth rates suck, and that is true. But his weapon ranks are so good. I mean, look at that. Look at that. He just cleanly destroyed that fool. Now, with Silas, we're going to come through with the Armor Slayer. Oh, we don't... Do we want Silas Camp? Yeah, let's, let's do Silas Camp as well. So this is going to hurt 98% of the time as he does, but that's whatever. Good night. <laughs> yeah, I, I 
I really do like Gunter though for his weapon ranks as well. He's been very useful for that alone. You can use like the Beast Killer and crap. The Armor Slayer if you were still a Great Knight. But if you were a Great Knight, why not use the Hammer though, I guess, right? But he has a lot of good things going for him, honestly. Hey, he actually got defense. Cool, cool. Now, what would be sweet is if I could somehow get him two levels on this map. I'm not really necessarily counting on that, but if we did, he'd get Rally Defense, which would be way, way better. And he's already, like I said, he's really good anyways, because he also buffs Dude to an unreasonably high degree. Which is just great, honestly. Uh, Bozu's gonna pair up with Dude just because I want Shield Gauge. She needs that if she's gonna kill all three of these guys, because, well, they hit very, very hard. <laughs> When I first looked at this map, some of these guys actually had steels, not silvers, so I think she just survived. But like I said, I did have to rethink it a little bit because the enemies do scale on a chapter to chapter basis. So does Ophelia for that matter. Uh, I think if we would have recruited her any sooner than this, her weapon ranks would be worse. Which matters a little bit, not a whole lot right this second, but it'll save me some money I think. Now these two, we're going to move them all the way up here. This is going to be in range of two of the Master of Arms. Yeah. It's going to be in range of two of those guys, but nobody else. So Leo's going to be in a little bit of a uh, precarious position, I guess. It's only going to look that way, though. He's totally fine. Trust. Trust me, fam. And we can move Camilla right there. So, of course, technically Ophelia could die here. She would need to get hit by three things. <laughs> two Berserkers and also... Oh, we don't want that. Yeah, we wanted HD Ophelia, right? <laughs> that's, that's why we're doing this to begin with, I think. Oh my god, that clipping though, that just looks so corny. <laughs> it's like they only made the, the uh, not Mage Knight, but the Dark Knight model, right? It's like they only considered Leo when they made it, because it's like... <laughs> like Ophelia, her hair just goes right through that collar. It looks ridiculous, man. <laughs> or maybe that's just part of her magic, right? Seems a little bit useless to me, but who am I to judge? I'm no mage. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just realized that you could do that. I honestly forgot that you could change the camera around like that. So Camilla, unfortunately, is still kept on strength because I... I think we ended up upgrading the smithy. Oh, Swordbreaker. Right, that's the other Wyvern Lord skill. Well, she doesn't need that for this map. No, she's not fighting any sword users. I mean, there's some heroes that spawn, I guess, with swords, but I also just have the dual club. Yeah, I just have the dual club. I want the other skills, I think. Certainly not taking off Trample, oh my god. Now, because Camilla actually dodged one attack, I don't think that I'm going to need to heal her. I need her to kill some of those mages, though, on the right as well, because there are lots of villages on this map, as you guys have no doubt noticed. But they all have really good stuff, too. There we go, Arthur. Finally, finally this man can reach his final form. Or maybe not. <laughs> I wanted this guy promoted forever ago, though. Berserker bonuses are just so damn good. They're just so damn good, but alas... Yeah, Camilla should be just fine from there, I think. At least for the time being. I did bring Izana. He does have the physics staff if need be, but if I don't have to use it, that's better because I can just, like, rally or something. I, I don't know what I'm doing entirely. It does depend a little bit on what the enemies like to do. Now, what would be cool here is if Ophelia got, like, an Astra. Not on this guy, necessarily. Although, I guess I would have helped here as well, but there's going to be a Shrine Maiden, I think it was, with a bow. And I'm not going to be doubling her. So an Astra in that sense would be very nice. Oh, I did forget something. What did I forget here? Oh, Leo needed a magic to- ah, ha, ha, ha. Damn it all. No, he needed that because if I I'm going to be hosed now. Yeah, because he should have killed two of these guys. Damn, that, that is the problem. That is one problem. I, I just wanted to be sort of, sort of frugal with it. <laughs> I don't want to spend all my money, man. He needed a magic tonic, though. Otherwise, this is going to go south super, super quickly. I can't kill enough of those guys without that. Had I killed the first two, we would have been fine, but... Well, we can see how the rest of this plays out, I guess. There's Savage Blow, which is also pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and take that right now. It should actually be useful in uh, clearing the rest of this map. So that was pretty timely. We actually got a point of magic as well, which is nice. I mean, I'm not staying Melee Ignite forever, so I can't I can't really take this into another class, but believe it or not, even without the magic boon, uh, dude here is putting in so much work with his bolt axe. It is very powerful. I think it has like 14 might or something crazy like that by default, and she had like, what, 20 magic, so yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, especially with uh, enemies like this having really low resistance for some reason. 
Yeah, look at that. We picked up two levels just like that. And you can see, though, even if we got nailed by every attack, we were fine. We were fine. Leo needs that magic tonic, though, unfortunately. Yeah, I think an Astra on this chick would actually kill her. Because I passed Astra and Trample. One of them is redundant. <laughs> I guess we can see what Ophelia's level up will be. Speed would be great. No speed. Hmm. Actually, it's going to change, isn't it? Because, I, yeah, I, I need that magic tonic, though. I do. So we can just jump back to this turn after I unscrew myself, I guess. <laughs> that was embarrassing. So if there are any doubts as to whether or not this is a gameplay channel or not, uh, <laughs> I just remembered because I did still want to show everything that I was doing. So what I meant to do with Leo is take this spirit dust we've been sitting on since forever ago and use it on him. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. That two points of damage is all the difference here. And I figure it's actually worth it. Uh, he's going to cap magic probably anyways, but... I, I just feel like it's worth it for this map because this is it is a pretty hard map, honestly. One of the harder child paralogs, I think. By the way, if I didn't I think I said this, but the only way for Ophelia to die there is if she gets hit by both berserkers. That's the only possible way. Or I guess if she like crit or something like that and prevented herself from getting shield gauges, I guess that would also probably be pretty bad. Uh but because Dwyer is right next to her like that, even if everything hit her, she would survive out... Not not if everything hit her, but if uh, one Berserker and the Shrine Maiden hit her, she would still survive out one. It would have to be both Berserkers in order to actually kill her. If anything, we drop Rally Defense, actually. Camilla's never hitting that on this map, I assure you. So we just watch her murder this crap again, and she is still so strong that she can just kill stuff with the hammer. She can just kill stuff with it. Like, that is... That's not right. <laughs> you see, Gunder, he did 25, which is, like, still a reasonable amount. But Camilla over here... Mm, I wonder if that's any better for me. I think that might actually be a lot worse. Yeah, because... Oh, that's what's supposed to happen, by the way. <laughs> oh, I missed the L button. My bad. But... It might actually be a lot worse that I crit that Berserker after popping my gauge like that because I don't think that I can rebuild it back up. And she was gonna fight a spear guy, a, a spear fighter, or whatever the promoted version is. Spear master, there we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, not quite as familiar with the Ocean classes, I'll be honest. Uh, but she was gonna fight a spear master, and that could be kind of bad now. We can drop lunch on you. Yeah, it could be kind of bad though because she, like, She's not going to have enough shield gauge to get it to full by the time that guy would be attacking her, you know? Although I guess that does mean she's going to have an extra one. Mm, I don't know. I guess we'll see how that goes. Yeah, you can see that guy uh, with the Berserkers doing 29. She dealt 6, so we would actually have survived with even a little bit more. Huh? Oh, right, right. I left the map, didn't I? Yeah, because I thought... I thought that I needed a tonic, but it was the spirit. Okay, cool. So she actually got the speed this time. Sweet, sweet. Uh, we're going to take Seal Magic away because that skill is borderline useless. I don't know. I've never really found the... I've never really found a lot. Well, I won't say a lot, okay? But I haven't found some of the Seal skills, Seal Magic in particular, to be of any use. That's one that I have never truly found a way to get anything out of because, I don't know, mages are pretty easy to kill as it is. And the chances of them actually surviving and then taking a real penalty after that with their magic, you know, it's just... Because think about everything that would have to go into that, right? You would have to attack them, or, or, or they would have to attack you, I guess. Chances are you deal damage to them. Oh, let's turn the animations back on. Chances are you deal damage to them, though, when they attack you. And even if they survive, well, chances are you hit them as well, right? So they must be low enough that anybody could just kill them in one hit. They're mages. Like, look at this guy. He has 13 defense. <laughs> so, I don't know. Seal Magic, probably the worst one in my opinion. Good God. Good God, Camilla. <laughs> Such a good unit. Shame about her character. I just, I don't understand the marketing behind her. I really don't. Did they really think that if they were marketing her to, like, teenage boys that they wouldn't notice? Did they really need that cutscene? I don't know. I was a teenage boy once. I think I would have noticed. <laughs> I don't think it was necessary. When I was 13, nobody told me that Lynn had jiggle physics. It just, it feels almost predatory in a way, because it's like preying on people who don't know better, man. Camilla's best feature is her hair anyways, right? She wakes up like that. Don't think I didn't notice that. Come on now. 
I have some class. I need at least to kill that mage that is uh, kitty corner from Camilla because he has pass. <laughs> and I definitely don't remember that just because I failed to notice one time. I agree. So we always knew that Leo was hitting because when does he not come through? In all honesty, but yeah, this guy has pass, and that that can't <laughs> that can't be allowed to happen. He can't be allowed to do that. So we need to take Elise, murder this guy, and we're gonna actually be getting some fairly good use out of attack stands here, as you guys are seeing. Now, if I were trying to be like super hardcore, I could have traded Camilla over to a hand X because then she could retaliate on these mages as they come. But there's like no no no, there's no way. <laughs> That's so risky. That's so unreliable. I guess, though, if you wanted to do that, you could probably beat this map even faster, right? I assume that, like, five would be the minimum, unless you have, like, a really, really, really broken team. I'm talking, like, power level in the grinding DLC. Like, that's strong. That's how strong he would need to be. Uh, so we're, we're definitely not trying any of that. But what we are going to try is blowing this guy away. Let's do it. And this should actually Savage blow the Shrine Maiden, which should, in theory, allow Ophelia to kill her. Now, of course, if that had failed, for whatever reason, like, if, if for example, Ophelia didn't get speed here, right? I still have Izana with Rally Magic, and Odin is carrying Lightning. So, even without that speed, we would have been okay in this situation. But because we got it, like I said, we could just double and blow her back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, of course. <laughs> we're, we're doubling her. I thought we were killing her in one hit for some reason. So we do get the shield gauge regardless. Which is good. Because from this tile, I can be attacked by a Spearmaster. And I'm pretty sure Ophelia just survives regardless. Uh, assuming she doesn't get hit by the Berserkers anyway, she would survive because we got Life Taker. Like you see right there. And it, it restores 50% of your max HP after you kill something, but only on your turn. Yeah, as you can see right there. So that's a really good ability, in all honesty. It's uh, it's really good. Not I, I don't want to say it's worse than an Awakening. It's just that you can't stack it with Gale Force so easily as an Awakening. Because that was ridiculous, right? So you have Life Taker and Gale Force. Which means you basically heal yourself back to full, assuming you can kill two things. Which is just ridiculous. And Ovelia... Uh, not Ovelia. <laughs> wrong game. Olivia. With Olivia on top of that, you could realistically kill three things with the same person if you really wanted to. Uh, we can kill this Master Ninja as well. Just take him out, out of there. Yeah, Master Ninjas are very frail. <laughs> very, very frail. You almost never see that, though, so I, I kind of do understand why people wouldn't immediately jump to the conclusion that, hey, I should be one-shotting these guys. Because when do you really do that in most games unless it's like a mage or effective damage, right? So... In that sense, I understand the, uh, I understand the... How do we want to do this? I'm thinking I can kill this guy, can't I? I, I, I know I lost my train of thought there. I'll, I'll get back to that. But I, I think I can kill this mage right now with Silas if I gave him the javelin next to Mozu. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Maybe he lives, maybe he lives. Right, Tome Rank, these guys have A. So 39, 37, 20. Oh, what am I saying? Of course he lives. He has a vow of friendship right now. Of course he lives. So I'm doing 42. Yeah, actually, she has the same amount of might no matter what. And Silas will kill this guy, though, because of the uh, god modes. Yeah, we haven't seen that one in a while. God damn. So here we go. Yeah, that that move took me a second. I, <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. Lots of math, man. Lots of math. He will kill, though. This would be a lot easier, though, if I just had rally, man. God damn. <laughs> Thank you guys, by the way, for explaining that whole prison mechanic to me, by the way. Why does she die? Oh, I didn't give her any boot I'm so trash. <laughs> I'm so trash. She was supposed to get an HP tonic. <laughs> she was supposed to get an HP tonic so they would attack Camille. Oh my god. <laughs> because they, they would have, because they wouldn't have been able to... They wouldn't have been able to kill Elise. Yet they would have been able to kill Camilla, guaranteed in two attacks. Uh, uh, not counting for the shield gauge, of course. Oh my God, she was supposed to have an HP tonic. <laughs> Deltrate, what are you doing? What are you doing? At the very least, this guy can't get a lucky dodge because we got Astro. Oh my God, what am I doing? 
She was supposed to have an HP time. Yeah, the AI is a little bit weird like that sometimes, but... As you can see, this plan is going to work out, if nothing else. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I I really don't. This Silas play worked out very well. I feel good about that. Not so good about the whole Elise thing though. <laughs> Cause I pr I promised they would have went after Camilla. They just would have because that other guy has um, what's the ability? Uh, even handed. The other guy has even handed, so he would have dealt more. Which would have been enough to take her out in theory. But again, the uh, the dang the shield gauge would have kept her safe. But because they could have done that more reliably, they would have just tried to kill Camilla, basically. Believe me, I'm not, I'm not just talking out of my ass. I did actually try this map at least once to make sure that it wasn't going to, you know, take forever. Not to mention, like I said, I figured this out forever ago. As in, like, before the hiatus, forever ago. <laughs> it just, it's, it's working out better here, though, I have to say. Now, these guys didn't move. Can I get a little bit cheeky, maybe? Cuz, if dude ends her turn in this tile... And I can kill these two... Which is the ideal outcome here... If Mozu shoots this guy, he dies. Probably. Honestly, what right do I have to not roll this? I feel almost obligated to, just so that the game might be able to pay me back. There we go. Good. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I'm so trash. That's what I wanted. So now I can actually try a little bit and kill the guy like this, I suppose. Good, though. Good, good. <laughs> Now, as for this adventurer, we gotta stay out of range of view. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Man, if there was some way I could get this village right now, this would be sweet. Let me let me think on this for a second. So, I killed this guy. But if, if anybody got the village, it would have to be Camilla, though, right? Like, it would have to be. And then Elise can't really kill anybody. And without the chip... Yeah, without the chip, that doesn't work, does it? Damn. Don't think that I can. Oh, well. We can Iron X this guy 88% of the time. Now, you already paid me back, game, so no need to, like... Okay, good. <laughs> oh, my lord. I told you this map was tough. You see that? I had to dodge. I had to dodge. There was no other way. There was no other way. <laughs> okay, but now Leo can actually kill that guy comfortably from right next to him. This is where having nothing but flyers is actually kind of a detriment. But with Heartseeker, this should be pretty reliable. Now, of course, if I miss, that's that. And good night. Cool, cool. I'm saying, you challenge Leo? He's so tanky. Like, goddamn, dude. Yeah. I mean, if I could have killed those two... To go back to the whole hand next thing, if I could have killed those two with, like, the two mages, that is, if I killed them with Camilla, then she could kill this sniper, which would be better, but not using the dual club is just, it's kind of insane, so don't really want to rely on that, I feel. Missing this attack, though, was pretty bad, because I could have, I could have killed this guy with dude after killing this guy with dude. Uh, kill the boss, savage blow, and then maybe... No, probably not. <laughs> well, if she has a shield gauge, it's sort of irrelevant then, isn't it? As long as she has a gauge by then, I don't think I care. Yeah, because I need to make sure that I am not in range of the... Of the guy, of the... Of the dang shrine, but yeah, I'm, I'm really not good with a uh, potion and glasses. I need to stay out of her range, though, basically. And this is as far as she's going to be able to reach. Yeah, because she can move through the desert freely. Uh, there's lots of desert tiles scattered in the map itself, if I didn't point that out. There's some, like, there's one right here, which is pretty, pretty devious, because there's actually a deployment slot right here, so if you're not watching... Yeah, you might find yourself getting screwed by that, if not for that, but there's, like, they're all over the place, so you do have to really watch. 
Like up here, there's some as well. But basically, she can only reach this Swordmaster spot because she can go through the desert for free. If I put Dude right here, she has to go through the forest, which means she can only hit where the Swordmaster is as opposed to moving to where the Swordmaster is. Which is important because if I move Dude here, kill this guy with the Bolt Axe, dance with Azura, she'll still be safe, and we can move on with our lives. Now the two, who's better for killing the mage though, I guess? Uh, Silence, I guess, can just do it. Dude kills you, Ophelia kills you, Dude kills the boss, has a shield gauge. Blocks the Shrine Maiden, and she's going to be really healthy anyways, because I'm going to heal her after Silas goes in. So healthy, in fact, I'm so confident she can just survive. Yeah, it's only a Steel Yumi, so she just lives outright, so yeah, we can do this. I'll trade Mo's over to the poke, just in case. I actually wanted to trade Silas off the, uh, off the Javelin, just because I was fearing that miss, but... It is what it is. We can take this guy out 98% of the time. And it does cost me a little bit, but, you know. I, I guess I can't really think of anything else Silas was really doing on this turn. There, finally. I guess this is where all of his HP went. <laughs> they decided to backload it all, I guess. Just thought I could heal her twice. I will use Izana first. Go with the Bolt Axe. This is actually a fantastic combination. Never would have seen it coming, but here we are. Yeah, I, did anybody else see Strength Corrin doing this much work <laughs> with a magic weapon? I certainly don't think so. I guess the Bolt Axe really is just that good, though. Because if I really wanted to, I could even, like, dust her up and crap, right? Now, the Swordmaster is a bit of a pain, which is exactly why we have the Lightning Spell. <gasps> I can fix that. I can fix that. It's fine. <laughs> what did I do here? Why I didn't... Oh, she didn't get magic, I guess. And I... No, I, I guess I'm just bad at math. <laughs> this is fine, though. We're still gonna block. Just fine. It's fine, and then Dwyer can kill him. With the dual attack. Did I say Dwyer? I meant Ophelia. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> God damn. So her personal ability is pretty neat because if you give her three or more tomes her crit rate increases by 10 it's sort of like a different take on odin's uh, hers i feel is a little bit well, well i suppose they're both practical but in ophelia's case you'd probably want at least three tomes anyways because there's at least three good ones that i can think of so that's very easy to activate and it does increase your crit rate as it would suggest uh not only that though but you can buy the mjolnir tome by this point which uh, has a lot of built-in crit as well, so she can do some fun stuff with like crit tome builds and crap. It's pretty neat. Uh, I am actually just gonna go out on a limb here and say that I should just heal dude again. There's really no reason not to. In all honesty, I could maybe even rally her defense because... She would take 19, but then these guys would bounce off if I rallied her defense. I have no doubt. They would bounce all the way off. We can even see it. Just to make sure I'm not talking out of my head. Oh yeah, they would do 4-4. Four, four. So that would be, worst case scenario, 8 plus 23 somehow. And that would assume that they could somehow get around the shield gauge, which they can't. It's not like the mechanics changed halfway through the game. So, we'll rally. That's the safest way. And by moving dude in this position, we protect Azra. They've come for this town's rare tomes. They're mine. All mine. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I love it. I love it. Ah, am I done for? Am I really? Uh, bleh. So that's how that goes. Is that trample? I think that's trample. That didn't take very long. <laughs> so I guess we really only needed to be a melee for one map. So that's good. Might as well keep a uh, savage blow on, right? Just to pester that shrine maiden a little bit. Yep, and she's good. I guess I could have taken Ophelia's lightning away, because that's not going to allow her to kill this lady. I don't think she could regardless, but more damage is better than less damage, I assume. <laughs> In most cases. Okay, so we can just move Elise right here. And everybody is safe. It was 100% skill to get to this point after all, so no need to, uh... <laughs> Trash! 
but who is not trash would be Gunter. Nice block there. Nice block there. And he's buffing us to the point that if we were not a Melee Knight and still a Wyvern Lord, we would quite literally be one-shotting these guys, which is crazy. And I guess in that sense, uh, I, I did see an interesting little take on the whole E-Rank Hell thing pretty recently, and the argument was essentially that bronze weapons and the like can more or less make up for, you know, the higher end crap. Like, silvers in this game are not very good to begin with, and to an extent, I actually do kind of agree with this take, but only for the good units in this game, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And I, I'd almost go as far as to say that E-Rank Hell is like the wrong name for it, because that's not necessarily the whole story. The whole story is Camilla being Camilla and still being at B rank in Axis. That is the whole story. That is the reason that people crap on the weapon ranks in this game. Because that should not be. There should be no possible way that Camilla is this good and still does not have max rank in Axis. That's absurd. Like, and you might say, what difference does that make? Well, brave weapons in this game are A rank for one. And it also stifles creativity because you can't do cool stuff. Like, there's no such thing as Shining Bow Nyx, for example. I've tried. <laughs> it, it doesn't work because the weapon rank system doesn't let it. First of all, it's going to be fixed in three houses, I can guarantee, because it is that ridiculous. It is just that ridiculous in this game. I don't know about you guys, but when I replay Fire Emblem, I, I usually like to be a little bit, uh, a little bit cheeky with it, you know what I'm saying? Get a little bit more interesting. But that's not really a possibility in this game. Not to the same extent, anyways. Not without massive amounts of grinding. And I guess maybe that was what they wanted. I guess maybe they were just trying to sell DLC. Which, if that's the case, that's pretty lame. Uh, Camilla, I think, has to kill this guy. Is there some way I could do this, like, attack stance? Uh, and then... I mean, we can kill him, it's just, I'm, I'm curious if Leo plus Elise will do the same. I hand next you, dude kills you, Ophelia kills you, this guy is a problem then. One savage blow. Minus eight health, so he's on 30... Ooh, 30 what? 34. Moza can do 34. If she's paired with Silas, I guarantee she can do 34. We're at 40 minus 23. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so that's how we do that, I guess. So dude can now murder this chick. Why does she now do 49? What did I... Oh, trample, duh. So yeah, kill this chick. Azura can dance. The guy's gonna get savagely blown. And then... Yeah, 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 we can route those guys. I'm sure we can. God, Savage Blow is so damn good. It's probably like, I don't want to say it's the second best ability. I was almost going to say that. I don't know if that's true necessarily. But it's a really, really freaking good one, man. <laughs> There's nothing to be desired with that, in all honesty. So we can pop this guy now. Like so. God, those kinchy animations are clean. They will never get old, man. Especially now that they're all nice and pretty like that. Ooh. 720B gives the animations. Speed luck. Well, <laughs> they can't all be winners, I guess. Unlike dude. So yeah, if we if we uh, if we just attack this guy, take him out. And unfortunately, because I needed silence for that, there's not really a great way for me to deal with uh, some of these guys. Now, this guy does have a silver, right? So there's not a chance in hell that I survive? No. <laughs> Unless I was on very full. Like, absolute max, she could still survive. And the reason I'm thinking about that is because I can, like... I'd be more effective in taking these guys out that way. Because, again, at least can kill one. Now, those, uh, those adventurers actually aren't aggressive as long as there's a village that they could potentially destroy. So that's why I have no fear making this move, by the way. And of course, we can't be crit, because Ophelia has a million luck, and also we were going to block anyways, so this is fine. And we even get a little bit extra shield gauge. I don't think that matters at this point, truth be told. I really don't. Yeah, I really don't see where that would matter, so dude can just kill this guy. Outright. 
And again, despite the fact that we have a million different flyers down here, and the fact that the adventurer will probably end up on a tile that he could have attacked from, he's not going to. Oh, Fate's AI. And it's even kind of a blessing that he has passed in this case, because maybe he would have attacked just to get a straight shot to the village. Okay, so that level wasn't too great. I think we did at least manage to pick up some res on her, if nothing else. Oh my, how bad at math can I be? So I was, <laughs> I, w I was cutting in half Camilla's attack. I was cutting in half Camilla's attack, and I assumed that that would be how much damage that Elise dealt with the dual strike. Oh my god, I am so terrible. I am so terrible. I thought she would do 10, but no, she does 17. This is the only move. <laughs> Golly. Yeah. I don't know, I guess that's what I get for not really using attack stance all that much. It's not like I forgot the mechanics halfway through the game, I just am trash, so, you know. We can do this, take this guy out 96% of the time. Please, Elise, if ever there were a time to not miss, it would be right now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so he's done, and now I can actually get this village if I want to, and I probably do want to because, as you can see, these guys are coming in hot. Alternatively, I can honestly... Probably put Camilla here, and then she would kill one of these heroes right now, which might be better. Or she could kill the sniper. She should probably kill the sniper. Can she kill the sniper with the hammer? Reliably. Reliably enough. Ooh, but we already missed, man. We already missed one of those. I'll tell you what, if... No, really no if, but I want the general dead as well. <laughs> that's the big issue. And he does have wary fighters, so that's really my only option in that sense. And I didn't bring the freeze because I am garbage, so... Man, just because I got that dodge, I feel obligated to, like, put myself at risk. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's just kind of how I operate, I guess. So, that in mind, let's kill this guy with the hammer and not the much more accurate forge. Okay. Sweet dreams, kiddo. <laughs> and again, that dodge could have been easily prevented just simply by giving Elise an HP tonic and possibly a resistance tonic if it came to it. Just so that they would be more tempted to attack Camilla. The other mage, again, did have even-handed, so he would have, in theory, been killing Camilla. Had Elise not been lucky. Now, to go back to a thought that I started, like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes ago, <laughs> the whole Master Ninja thing, right? So, you almost never really expect to one-shot things with uh, with no effective damage like that, right? So I do understand why uh, it, it can be sort of almost a mental block in a way, you know, if that makes sense. Because it, it's, it, it's hard to change your habits when, <laughs> when you've been doing the same thing for God knows how many games in a row, you know what I mean? This is a really good example. Like, I would never think to try and one-shot this general if I didn't know that the hammer existed, you feel me? So it's not really that strange that most people would assume that if you don't have effective damage and if you're not doubling, then you're not killing. You know, it's just... It's just Fire Emblem 101, honestly. This is one of the very few games, though, where that is not the case. Which is pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Interesting, if nothing else. Uh, with Camilla, honestly, I can just throw her all the way in. I'm so sure that I can. As long as I'm out of range of that guy, which is exactly why we have her turned on. We have that dude turned on for just such an occasion, so that should be three dead heroes. With 42 attack each, and losing... Losing two points, so 40, 40, 40. And then losing even two more because of the dual club. 38, 38, 38, so that's 18. Actually, it's 12 plus what now? That's no kill. That is no kill. Or does he have... I mean, granted, I'm not going to use the hand axe, so he's going to be weaker. He's going to be weaker than that no matter what I do. Honestly, though, if I just do this, he cannot kill me under any circumstances. So that's exactly what's going to happen, I believe. Now, as for the rest of this crap... All we really need to do 
is make sure we can get all these villages. Now, see, that's why I would have liked to get this village in advance, because this mage is actually checking it right now, so that's a little bit annoying. Okay, so the only thing that makes sense for me to do here, I think, would be to just drop Mozu. She can get that one. Well, we can we can kill, like, three of these guys, so let's just do it. Take him out out of here. Approved his whole family tree. Good night. Been a lot of fun, ma'am. Maybe be a little bit quicker next time. Now, I mean, dancing for dude just seems to make sense to me. Uh, we're gonna kill three heroes, so those guys don't matter, which means we have three more to kill. Three more to kill. We need to get in range of all of these villages. And since Camilla, yeah, we healed her so she can just stand right there. Out of range of the one guy that could kill her. Well, technically the, the adventurer could kill her, but he won't. Because again, that, that's another reason I didn't want to get the villages immediately. Cool, so we can do that. Uh, pair up with you though, just to, because of the, the movement cost, basically. Now at this point, it doesn't really matter which is which, so we just do something like that. And we can bring Dude and Dwyer. Actually, you think Dude takes, uh, you think she takes that much in a single hit? It's 41. Nope, she doesn't. So, we're gonna move here with the old hand axe. Yeah, we'll move there with the old hand axe. Uh, if that mage wants to die, so be it. Because dude probably will hit, in all honesty, just simply because uh, we got the, uh, we got Gunter. We got Gunter, and with Dwyer right next to her as well, that guy is very, very dead if that's his move of choice. Uh, it probably will be, in all honesty, especially considering that Camilla has the dual club, so... He's not going to be too tempted to attack her, and he can't kill her anyways. Oh, uh, what? Where? Ruffians, here? We don't stand a chance, but maybe you can do something. Especially if I give you this. Yeah, you couldn't have given me that at the start of the map? Goddamn, so there's a free lightning, which is just amazing. We actually do have a few viable users of that. Uh, in Leo, Ophelia, and Elise. They could all really benefit from that, I think. Yeah, quiet down. But, that's kind of why I feel like this chapter is so difficult, right? Because there's a lot of really good stuff. Not even to mention Ophelia herself. There's a stat booster, there's a, a spirit dust which we're about to grab, there's the Calamity Gate, a Reaver Tome, which God only knows we need that right about now. And I forget what the last one is. Is it the Horse Spirit, I think? I think it is actually the Horse Spirit, which is another really good tome. In fact, if uh, Leo would have had that before the start of this map, oh, so we're not getting the extra strength, I guess. Oh, don't feel like that, Camilla. <laughs> You're fine, trust me. But yeah, if we would've got the Horse Spear over to Leo at some point, he would've actually been able to double a lot of these guys naturally because it gives some speed. So that'll help a lot in fixing him up, I wanna say. So yeah, Camilla's actually capped out, goddamn. She might be one of the only ones that's gonna get there, in all honesty. But, all that said, I think we're about to wrap this up, eh? So, I got lucky. <laughs> I think there's no denying that. However, <laughs> however. Uh, shut up. So, let's go ahead and kill this guy now with Leo. And Camilla murders one. Dude murders the other. Camilla murders this one. Dude murders this one. Yeah, that's how that goes. So, Elise. In fact, Leo, <laughs> you, we'll start with you. We'll start with you, man. Now, if Leo wants to get Life Taker, that would be sick. Because this guy is a tank and a half. Honestly. There's one, two, get out of here. Now, I think you could have 1v1 that dude, Leo. Let's not be modest. So, there, finally, three maps from the end of the game. Now, Camilla has max weapon rank. Despite the fact that she is and has been herself the entire game. That's my real beef with the weapon ranks, again. Now, 98 times 2, yeah, that's good enough. With a 13% chance to just end him, sure, why not? She's been going off this map, so it wouldn't surprise me. Tell me about it. Now, we just gotta hit these last three, or these last two even. Yeah, here we go. No, don't say it's true. Bad times come to our little town? I'd try to spell out on them if I was a little older. Here, you take it. Moza doesn't know how to do that. 
That reminds me of a comment, actually, for some reason. So somebody pointed out the fact that the the old lady that Iago killed at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of the previous map is just a it's a reused model from Mozu's mother. <laughs> uh, I I really feel like they should have at the very least given her a unique sprite, right? Come on now. <laughs> her, all this fighting's over books. You want to use weapons? I bet you'd like me to give you a weapon to help end this fighting over weapons. Enjoy your vicious cycle. <laughs> Oh my god, harsh, but he still did it, okay, yeah, complain, and then, okay, man. Alright, so you're part of the problem, really, as far as I'm concerned. Now this one should be the dust. Ruffians, here, thank you for helping us. I don't have much, but here. The spirit dust, alright. And, uh, six, yeah, I, I think you could do it in five, probably, with all of the treasure, but, I, I don't know. I don't know, I couldn't really find a better way, I don't think. But that should be the last guy. Uh, do we want the staff experience? I mean, we might as well. I really question whether or not Izana would... Oh, wow, I'm good. <laughs> so that's how that goes. Actually, aha! But then he can't heal, can he? <laughs> yeah, damn it! Man, whatever! Get out of here. So that's how you get Ophelia. <laughs> Mostly. That's mostly how you get Ophelia. I'm so mad I didn't give Elisa the health tonic, because if not, then this would have been a very, very good uh, little playthrough here. A very good little map, I would say. Pretty fun, though, honestly. I don't normally care for the route maps, but just for the record, those two waves of reinforcements are the only ones. So, I feel that they use them less to slow you down and more to just add an extra element of challenge partway through the map, right? And to be fair, you can see that those walls on the outskirts of town are breakable. The game does let you see that in advance. And you yourself would probably never break them, so you could probably assume reinforcements are coming eventually. But instead of just adding more time to the map, they're they're very much an individual challenge in, in and of themselves. Because it's more adventurous to threaten the villages. The groups themselves are pretty threatening as well. And they're not so numerous that it feels unfair. Not to me, anyways. And again, not to mention, they're, they're both very early on in the map as well, so it's clearly intended that no matter what you do, you're supposed to be dealing with them. You'd have to literally beat the entire map in three turns in order to not do that. <laughs> That's a very tall order, I feel. But yeah, as far as route maps go, not too bad, not too bad. In my opinion. Now, hopefully Arthur and Camilla just got S right then. That'd be sweet. Ophelia, I've got bad news for you. That so-called encyclopedia of mine. The Book of Supreme Fatal Divine Names. It's just my idea book. A place to scribble down impressive names for weapons. That's all. Huh, so the super ultimate tome... Yes, it doesn't exist. Ah, oh, really? Sorry to disappoint you, Ophelia, but maybe this will make it up to you. Well, um, it's a tome. I bought it here in town, destined to a store between moves. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Odin. You were glued to your kid. I don't want to hear it. I have a habit of naming my weapons, but I haven't named this one. Why don't you name it? I can name this tome myself, Father. Whatever should I call it? Ah, I have the perfect name. Mm, that was a little quick, no? What's the name, then? Ta-da! <laughs> I named this tome Mistletane. Mistletane? Why that name? I saw it scribbled in the margins of the very last page of your idea book. Though it had to be more than just an idea for a name, Father. There were comments there that said it was a pretty crummy weapon, as it turned out. What was it? It slips that slips out of the hand, cuts as dull as a butter knife. Wasn't that I I haven't gotten Owain's paralog in forever, but that was the whole point of his, right? He was looking for the Mistletane. Which in itself is already a reference to uh Eldigan. Elchan, whichever you prefer. It's not nearly as good as his though. Oh my god. Was it wasn't just like <laughs> here, have twenty strength and twenty scale or some BS like that. It was something ridiculous. So, yeah, there's no way <laughs> anything could live up to that, I'll say that. I don't care, I just love the sound of that name. Mistletane. What an ear you have, attuned to the slightest intimations of legend! Mistletane was the only name in that book that I ever gave to a real weapon. Oh yes, how I remember Mistletane. The blade to which my hand was wed. Not for me though, you're on the bench, bud. <laughs> Sever is the only good one besides Morgan, fight me. <laughs> the blade from which my enemies fled. We were quite a pair. I guess that's because I played on Lunatic, though, which is a mistake. I don't recommend it. <laughs> father, is your hand empty now? Let us hold hands, father and daughter, and let our foes flee in our wrath. After all, now I hold Mistletane, so we are three. 
What? If I sift through your flair for words! Yes, I want to travel with you. We are both chosen ones. Ha ha! <laughs> Got a little Arthur in your voice there, Odin. Then we march together! We are the chosen two! I can only hope the others won't be so humbled around so much excellence. It's really hard with her stats being that way. <laughs> Go introduce yourself, Ophelia! At once, father. The rest of the army's like, oh god damn it, a second one! <laughs> Just imagine. Oh, that's Ophelia. <laughs> Just imagine. Ophelia, Dusk, and Odin Dark. Together at last. Hey, did you catch all that dusk and dark? Think the rest of us are at risk of being upstaged? No way, they'll never... Wait, what do you mean upstage us? I've been around since chapter 7, I'm not going anywhere. Well, anyways, it's all harmless fun, and Ophelia seems pretty nice. <laughs> I don't think I heard that one before, he sounds like a little fanboy, doesn't he? He's like fanboying over his daughter. <laughs> That's great, good stuff. So excited, daughter! I can't believe that we've finally been united! Both of us on the eternal stage of battle! With Mistletane in a supporting part! I can already see it! A thousand foes before us, falling before my might! Well, your might mostly, but I helped! Leave some for me! At least one hundred! No, five hundred! I laugh at the odds! Let our foes come! I will smack them down! I'll laugh louder and smack them harder! I'll show you how it's done, father! I mean, she's not wrong! <laughs> And you get the Mistletane, a very good weapon for Ophelia. Ophelia only, it is a personal weapon. So now... Uh, I didn't talk about her stats or grows, but <laughs> I maybe I put them on screen. But the Mistletane itself is Ophelia only, it has 10 crit, plus 1 skill, plus 1 res, not a sword. <laughs> very specifically not a sword. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. It's like a uh, Brynhildr light, I guess. Got a little bit more crit to it though, and that does play into her personal ability, so that's nice. I would almost go as far as to say though that the Mjolnir is still better. Uh, just because you can jack up her crit rate pretty high. And since we actually passed Astra to her, that could be very nice as well. She doesn't have the bow skill of course with uh, Elise as her mother, but it is what it is. Now the only real thing with her is that we don't want to get her more than one level up on the next map. No, we don't want to get her more than two level ups on the next map. That's right. I guess we're going to see that when we see that. Oh, yeah, we also got some more swag, right? Yeah, the Calamity Gate. It's a Raver weapon. Oh, and it also gives speed, so that's good. That is good. I guess that might help Leo not get doubled by everything. And there's also the Horse Spirit, which is just broken. Look at that. Three skills, speed, defense, resistance. Why? I don't know, but it's really good. And in Birthright, you can get multiple, so you can even forge it up if the Might is an issue, but not so here. This is the only one in Conquest. And you can only get it through Ophelia's Paralog. It's the only way. Very, very good weapon, though. You'd probably want to get it if you were doing Ophelia's map to begin with, but hey. That said, next time, Ninja Hell. For now, <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Rating helps me out, and I will catch you guys next time. See you then. Peace.